Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the mesh analysis. In the previous classes, we discussed about the mesh analysis with if there are three loops in a circuit. If there are three loops, how to apply the mesh analysis and how to write the equations. And by using that equations, we have calculated the current passing through the each and every resistor. Okay, first we have find the loop currents and after that we have find the current passing through the each and every resistor. That is the procedure we followed in the previous classes. Now today we will see if there are three loops, how to write the mesh equations and how to find the loop currents. And after finding the loop currents, how to find the current passing through the individual resistor. Okay, let's see the circuit here. This is a circuit which is having the three loops. Okay, it, it, and it is having the two supplies here. 10 volts is a one supply and one more supply is 15 volts. Okay, these are, these are the resistors. Okay, this is the loop one, it is a loop two and it is a loop three. Now, if we take the loop directions, here yeah. <clears throat> for the given circuit, I am taking three loops in the clockwise directions, I am taking it. loop one, loop two, loop three. I am taking in the clockwise direction, assuming that current flowing in the each and every loop is in clockwise direction only. Okay, assume that in loop one, I one current is flowing, and in loop two, I two current is flowing, and in loop three, I three current is flowing. Okay, if you write the KVL in the loop one, we will get ten. Minus 2 plus the current is flowing from minus 2 plus 10 is equal to 3 into I1. For 3 ohm resistor, I1 current is flowing. Plus, plus 5 into, for 5 ohm, there are two currents are flowing. 5 ohm resistor is a common for loop 1 as well as the loop 2. That's why here I am writing I1, pi into I1 minus I2. Okay, for 5 ohm resistor, both I1 and I2 currents are in opposite directions. That's why 5 ohm, 5 ohm resistor is into I1 minus I2. 5 into I1 minus I2. Okay, if we simplify the above equation, we will get 5 plus 3 is 8 into I1 minus 5 into I2 is equal to 10. This is equation number 1. Now, I will apply the KVL in loop 2. If we apply the KVL in loop 2, we will get, as there is no source in the loop 2, we will take 0. 0 is equal to 5 into, as the 5 ohm resistor is common for loop 1 and loop 2, I am writing 5 into I2 minus I1. As the current flow, uh, as the current flowing for this particular resistor, both are in the opposite direction. That's why 5 into I2 minus I1. As we are writing the equation for loop 2, we will take I2 minus I1. Here we have taken I1 minus I2 because we are writing the equation for loop 1. Now we am writing the equation for loop 2. I will take I2 is positive. I2 minus I1 plus for 2 ohm resistor only one current is flowing. That is I2. 2 into I2 plus 4. For 4 ohm resistor there are two currents are flowing. 4 ohm resistor is a common resistor for loop 2 and loop 3. So 4 into I2 minus I3 here. 4 into I2 minus I3. As we are writing the equation for loop 2, we will take I2 is positive. I2 minus I3. If we simplify this, we will get minus 5 into I1 plus 11 into I2 minus 4 into I3 is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Let's apply the KVL in loop 3. If we apply KVL in loop 3, we will get here. The current is coming from plus 2 minus. That's why minus 15 volts is equal to. For 6 ohm resistor, only I3 current is flowing. That's why 6 into I3 plus 4 ohm resistor is a common resistor for loop 3 and loop 2. So 4 into I3 minus I2. Okay, that's why. Here, we are getting a difference here. As the current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor is both, uh, sorry, both the currents are flowing through the 4 ohm resistor. That's why here we are getting the combination of I3 and I2. As the both the currents are flowing in the opposite direction, we will get I3 minus I2. If we simplify the above equation, we will get minus 4 into I2 plus 10 into I3 is equal to minus 15. That is equation number 3. 
okay now if we enter the all the values in the calculator loop uh, equation number one and equation number two and equation number three we will get the following values here in the calculator here i1 term is not there if the i1 term is not there we have to take zero if you see the equation number two and equation number one nine two in the equation number one there is no i3 term so that you, you, you have to take i3 term is equal to 0 here. i1 is 8 minus 5 and 0 and 10. Like this you have to enter. Here there are 3 terms are there. There is no problem. Now in the loop 3 only i2 and i3 is there. i1 is not there. So that you have to enter 0 minus 4 and 10 minus 15. Like this you have to enter in the calculator. In the calculator you have to select the number of unknowns are 3. And after that, you will get the matrix which is having the three variables. Okay. If we enter all the values, we will get from equation number one and equation number two and equation number three, we will get I1 is equal to 1.27 amperes. Next, I2 is equal to 0 0.03 amperes. Next, I3 value is minus 1.48 amperes. These are the values we will get if we simplify the equation number one equation number two and equation number three now what is the question here find the current passing through the two ohm resistor which current is flowing through the two ohm resistor the current flowing through the two ohm resistor is i2 only one current is flowing that is i2 i2 current is nothing but current passing through the two ohm resistor now if you see the answer current passing through the two ohm resistor is nothing but i2 what is the i2 value here 0 0.03 amperes 0 0.03 ampere this is the answer like this, we will solve if there are three loops are present in the given circuit. This is a procedure. Now, let's see one more problem. Find the current passing through the four ohm resistor. Okay. In the given circuit, there are three loops are there. Loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3. Okay. In this problem, he is asking, find the current passing through the four ohm resistor. Okay. Let's apply the Mesh, mesh analysis to this given circuit. I am applying the, I am taking the direction here, assuming that in the loop 1, I1 current is flowing, and in the loop 2, I2 current is flowing, and in the loop 3, I3 current is flowing. Okay, let's apply KVL in loop 1. If we apply KVL in loop 1, see here, in loop 1, there is a voltage source. The current is flowing through, through this voltage source is minus 2 plus plus 10 volts okay minus 2 plus plus 10 volts is equal to for the two this 2 ohm resistor is common for loop 1 and loop 3 so 2 into i1 minus i3 plus this 3 ohm resistor is the common resistor for loop 1 and loop 2 that's why plus 3 into i1 minus i2 if we simplify this we will get phi into i1 minus 3 into i2 minus 2 into i3 is equal to 10. This is equation number 1. Now, let's apply loop equation that is KVL in loop 2. If we apply KVL in loop 2, see here in loop 2, one voltage source is there and two resistors. For this voltage source, the current is coming from plus 2 minus. If the current is coming from plus 2 minus, we will take minus 15. Minus 15 is equal to 3 into for the 3 ohm resistor, there are two currents are flowing, I2 and I1. So, 3 into I2 minus I1 plus 4. For 4 ohm resistor, there are two currents are flowing. What are those I2 and I3 current is flowing through this 4 ohm resistor? That's why 4 into I2 minus I3. Now, if we simplify the above equation, we will get minus 3 into I1 plus 7 into I2 minus 4 into I3 minus 15 is equal to this is equal i3 is equal to minus 15 this is equation number 2 next apply kvl in loop 3 if we apply the kvl in loop 3 we will get the following equation so observe here in the loop 3 there is no voltage source if there is no voltage source we will take 0 0 is equal to this 2 ohm resistor is common for loop 3 and loop 1 so 2 into i3 minus i1 plus 4 into this 4 ohm resistor is common for loop 3 and loop 2. That's why 4 into I3 minus I2. Plus only one current is flowing through the 6 ohm resistor. That is I3. So that's why 6 into I3 here. 
if we simplify the above equation, we will get minus 2 into i1 minus 4 into i2 plus 2L into i3 is equal to 0. This is equation number 3. Now, we have the equation number 1, equation number 2 and equation number 3. In the calculator, if we select the three variable equation and if we enter all the values, we will get from equation number 1, 2, 3, we will get I1 is equal to 0 0.12 amperes and I2 is equal to minus 2.56 amperes and I3 is equal to minus 0 0.83 amperes. What is the question in the given problem? Okay. For 4 ohm resistor, find the current passing through this 4 ohm resistor. So, which currents are flowing through the 4 ohm resistor? A, I2 and I3 both are flowing. Will we take I2 minus I3 or I3 minus I2 because both the both the currents are flowing through this 4 ohm resistor that is I2 and I3. In the first case, we will take I2 minus I3 and in the second case, we will take I3 minus I1. We will see the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor is the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor is I2. I mean, first, I, in the first case, I am taking I2 minus I3. What is I2 value? We have minus 2.56 minus what is the i3 values minus 8 minus 0 0.83 so minus 0 0.83 so if we do the my, uh, minus 2.56 and minus of minus plus 0 0.83 we will get minus 1.73 amperes we will get or in the second case we will take i3 minus i2 if we take i3 minus i2 we, we will get I3 minus I2 is equal to what is I3 value here? Minus 0 0.83 minus minus of I2 value is minus 2.56. Okay, if we calculate this, we will get 1.73 amperes. So from this we can say that if you take I2 minus I3 or I3 minus I2, there is no change in the answer. The magnitude is same, only the direction is different here, only the there is a negative sign here. Negative sign indicates the opposite direction. So, if the question is like this, current passing through the 4 ohm resistor, or current passing through the 3 ohm resistor, or current passing through the 2 ohm resistor, okay, your answer is you can take any of the conditions here. You can take I2 minus I3 or I3 minus I2. You will get the same answer, but there is a opposite direction minus there is no problem if you get the negative answer also no problem in this negative indicates the opposite direction suppose if the question is find the current passing through three ohm resistor what is your answer i2 minus i1 or i1 minus i2 okay next if they ask find the current passing through the two ohm resistor your answer is i1 minus i3 or i3 minus i1 you have to enter Suppose if the question is find the current passing through the 6 ohm resistor, only one answer that is I3. The current passing through the I3 is nothing but current passing through the 6 ohm resistor. For 6 ohm resistor, only I3 current is flowing. So, current passing through the 6 ohm resistor is equal to I3. What is I3 value? Is minus 0 0.83 amperes. Suppose if they ask, find the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor or 2 ohm or 4 ohm or 3 ohm any one of the resistors suppose if the if the volt if the question is voltage across 6 ohm resistor okay what is the voltage formula voltage is equal to i into r what is the i value here whatever the i3 value is there that is minus 0 0.83 i into r value is 6 simply we have to apply the ohms law v is equal to i into r Okay, like that we have to, we will find uh, voltage across each and every resistor. So, this is a procedure for the three loops. Okay, we have seen in the mesh analysis, if there are two loops are there, how we will write the KVL mesh analysis and how we will apply the KVL and how to find the currents of the individual loop currents. After finding the loop currents, how we will find the current passing through the each and every resistor that we have seen. Today, we have seen the if there are three loops, how to apply the mesh analysis and how to solve the equations and how to find the current passing through the each and every register. Okay, this is about the today's session. In the next class, we will discuss about.